What is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have yet another video on some rare homemade weapons and vehicle systems that have been manufactured in the state of Vietnam or the modern state of Vietnam. And in this video we're going to go over some rare homemade submarine concepts that were developed in Vietnam since the year 2010 to present. Now these are all midget submarines and in some cases unmanned drone submarines that have been developed by some of Vietnam's lesser known developers or weapon designers over the last 10 to 12 years. Now starting in the year 2010, two Vietnamese inventors along with around 30 to 40 of their engineering partners have come up with various experimental midget submarines and unmanned drone submarine concepts that they are hoping will evolve into a more professionally built submarine for the Vietnamese Navy or at least for the future of the Vietnamese Navy. Now these homemade submarines were developed over a course of at least two to five years each and each one of them are some of the more advanced homemade concept vehicles or homemade submarine concepts to come out of Vietnam in the last 10 to 12 years. So let's go over some of the rare homemade submarines and homemade drone submarines from Vietnam. Now the first the homemade submarine is actually a mock-up or a concept for a midget submarine that has not yet been fully realized as of this year 2023 and that is the Yet Kiyu type midget submarine concept that was developed between the years of 2010 and 2014. Now this is a homemade concept or mock-up of a future submarine project that is supposed to be developed for the Vietnamese Navy and it was developed by a Vietnamese um, engineer by the name of Phan Boy Tron who lives in the city of Binh Thai in Vietnam. Now he states that he's planning to construct of these mini slash midget submarines for Thailand and Malaysia but as of now I have not seen a fully realized version of this conceptual midget submarine. Now the final mock-up of the submarine is supposed to weigh at least 1.5 tons and is supposed to have a length of between 3.2 and 3.3 meters or 10 to 11 feet and the submarine is supposed to have a speed of 30 knots of 30 knots or 55.6 kilometers per hour and should have a crew of at least a one to four. Now as of 2014 only a single mock-up or working concept prototype has been constructed in the city of Bentai over the last decade plus but if you ask me personally I don't think he's going to build a full size version of this midget submarine concept that he's been working on for over a decade. And the reason I say that is simple because many of the inventors in Vietnam simply don't have the money. That seems to be the biggest issue having the money to actually build a fully functioning prototype that could then be upgraded into a fully functioning submarine for the Vietnamese Navy. Now keep in mind Vietnam already has two classes of submarines that are in service, six Russian Kilo class submarines and two North Korean Yugo class midget submarines that were purchased way back in the 1990s and are still in, and are still in service today as of the year of 2022. So they kind of aren't looking for any new submarines yet but eventually those Russian submarines will become outdated if they are not already considered outdated did by Vietnam in the future. And that brings me to the next class of midget submarines developed in Vietnam. That is the Truong Sa or Truong Sa type submarines that have been developed since the year of 2014 through 2021. Now these submarines were developed by a Vietnamese inventor by the name of Nguyen Hao. And Mr. Nguyen has developed three separate prototypes. Four if you count the drone submarine that he developed in the year of 2015. Now these are three separate midget submarines that are manned or manned midget submarines along with one experimental drone submarine or surveillance submarine that have been developed since the year of 2013 all the way up to the year of 2021. Now the first prototype is the Trong Sub Type 1 which is an experimental midget submarine developed between 2013 
and 2015, this submarine has a displacement of 9.2 to 12 tons, fully loaded. It has a maximum length of 8.8 .8 meters or 28 feet. It has a maximum speed of 21.7 knots or 40.2 kilometers per hour or 25 miles per hour. And it has a maximum diving depth of 50 meters and an endurance of 15 days at sea or about 800 nautical miles. And it has a crew of six. Now this submarine calls about 33,000 USD to construct or about 700 million of the Vietnamese currency and was constructed over a three-year time period. Now, unlike the Yet QE type, this submarine was actually fully constructed. This is a fully functioning midget submarine prototype or prototype midget submarine. Now, this is an electric submarine that is actually powered by two 800 horsepower electric motors and has a maximum endurance of 15 days at sea. Now, according to the inventor, this vehicle, this submarine was actually tested jointly with the Vietnamese Navy as there is actual footage of the Vietnamese Navy being present during the 15 days of testing that this submarine endured back in the year of 2015-2016. And this submarine, the Trunks Type 1, is the first fully functioning Vietnamese submarine to ever be constructed in Vietnam fully without any outside help from any other nation. Now, Mr. Nguyen hopes that this Trunks of One would inspire other Vietnamese inventors to come forward with their own submarine and weapons concepts that could be developed for use by the Vietnamese People's Army. Later in the year of 2018, Nagoyan came up with his second prototype, the Trongsa Type 2. Trongsa Type 2 was an improved design that is both a diesel electric submarine, meaning it has both the same two types of electric motors present in the Trongsa Type 1, but with the added diesel engine, thus giving it more endurance. This submarine also weighs between 9.2 and 12 tons, most likely the 12 tons, as this is larger than the Trongsa 1. It is 8.8 .8 meters or 28 feet, just like the previous submarine. And it also has a speed of 21.7 knots or 40.2 kilometers per hour slash 25 miles per hour. Its maximum diving depth is the same as roughly 50 meters. And it also has an endurance of 15 days or 800 nautical miles. The submarine also has a crew of, of six. And this submarine was unveiled in the year of 2019 and was tested in the year of 2021. This is the more advanced version of the Trongsa type submarine and is the more advanced homemade or indigenous submarine to be developed in Vietnam. Both the Trongsa Type 1 and Trongsa Type 2 were tested in front in collaboration with the Vietnamese Navy and they are both currently on display in the city of Ho Chi Minh at one of the naval museums in that area. Now, before the Trongsa 2 was unveiled, Back in 2021, you also had another submarine developed by Mr. Nagoyan in the year of 2015 and 2016. And this is a different design. This is the Hangsa type midget submarine developed between 2014 and 2016. This submarine weighs 9 tons. It is 7 meters long or 22 feet long and has a speed of 15 knots or 27.7 kilometers per hour or 17.2 miles per hour but it has the same maximum diving depth of 50 meters. But its endurance is unknown as this submarine was only tested a handful of times between 2015 and 2016 before it was retired for the Trunks Type 2 unveiled later on in 2019. Now the Hangsa type submarine has a rectangular shaped hull and was developed as an experimental touring submarine. According to Mr. Nguyen, this was supposed to be the prototype for a touring submarine that was supposed to be used for tourists visiting Vietnam. But it seems as if this prototype submarine had either failed or was not taken seriously and seems to have been abandoned, although it is also on display in Ho Chi Minh City at the military museum. So at some point it might have been tested in front of the Vietnamese army, but I am not 100% sure on that. But this submarine project only lasted for two and a half years before Mr. Nguyen went on to develop the Trungsa Type 2 midget submarine 
between 2018 and 2021. And this was the Hangzhou type submarine from 2014 and 2016. And then there is one experimental drone submarine that was also developed by Mr. Nagoyan again between the years of 2014 and 2017. And that is the Hangzha Type 1 USV or Unmanned Submarine or Submersible Vessel. And this was an experimental unmanned drone submarine that was unveiled between 2015 and 2016 and tested between 2015 and 2017. This was an unmanned surveillance drone that was developed for spying purposes. It has a displacement of 120 kilograms or 264.5 pounds, it has a maximum length of just 2.7 meters or 8.10 feet with the equipment attached, but its speed is unknown and it has a maximum diving depth of just 10 meters and an endurance of just one hour. So this here, this Hongsa type USV was a experimental drone submarine that was developed by Mr. Nagoyan along with about 30 of his engineering colleagues between 2014 and 2017. But again, it was not taken seriously, but was put on display at the museum for a short period of time between 2017 and I believe 2020. And it's the Hongzha type USV experimental unmanned surveillance drone submarine from 2014 2017. And that's basically it. These were the experimental midget submarines and unmanned drone submarines that I could find that were developed in Vietnam between the years of 2010 and 2021. Which of these were your favorite? If you ask me, the Trongsa 2 and the Hangzha type unmanned drone submarine would be my favorite as those seem to be the more practical submarines that were developed and that could be easily developed into a, you know, an actual submarine for the Vietnamese Navy or the Vietnamese Armed Forces as a whole. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Vietnam already has two classes of submarines that are in service, six Russian Kilo-class submarines, and two North Korean Yugo-class midget submarines that were purchased way back in the 1990s and are still in service today as of the year of 2022. So what do you all think of this? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.